Hey everyone, it's Jason, and these are five things that cruise passengers waste their time and money on. And on the last one, don't allow this to happen to you because it can turn a wonderful experience into one you'll regret. So number one, shopping on the ship. And I'm not talking about t-shirts. I'm not talking about some souvenirs for your family or friends. I'm talking about big ticket items, diamonds, watches, possibly a Louis bag. And I tell you what, for example, I did a quick search on a Louis bag and it was a certain price. I went to an authorized dealer, went outside, checked it on my Google. It was $1,000 less. Found it in five minutes of research. I have a jeweler friend in Tennessee that said, and he likes to cruise, so he's aware of these deals. He says, anytime you see a deal on a watch or rings or diamonds, just know I can beat their price every single time. A little bit of research before you making that big ticket purchase. And this would also go for art auctions. I hear a lot of people that are unhappy. Now, if you're buying it just because you like it and it's not as an investment, by all means. But if you're buying this as an investment, make sure to do your research and be forewarned. These people can absolutely sell. I was walking by midnight one night. I like to record late. And I heard one of their sales meetings and it was intense. It was an intense sales meeting. They were pushing those people and they were teaching them how to sell. They are professionals. So just be warned. So number two, buying a ship excursion in every port. So here's what I'm going to suggest you do. Do one hour of research per every port. And here's where I would start. Cruisecritic.com and then tripadvisor.com. Those two are great sites. I've learned so much off of Cruise Critic. Been on there for almost 20 years, and there is just a wealth of knowledge. Even with a lot of the ports that we've been to, some of them in the Caribbean 10, 12 times, I still research them just to see if I can pick up something new or if something's changed there. That is absolutely what I would do because many times if you buy these ship excursions, you're going to maybe half the places that you don't even want to go, let's say on a ship tour. So you get a cab and you check out one of the places that you really want to see and then you go maybe to a beach for a few hours. It's on your schedule, not on the cruise ship schedule. Now I know a lot of people are going to go, yeah, but I don't want to miss the ship. Well, what you'll find is a lot of these ship excursions are four or five hours at most. They're usually three and a half to four hours. And you're in port eight to 11 hours sometimes. So you've wasted all this time because it's like maybe in the middle of the day. So yeah, maybe you can go into town or something and do a little shopping. But it's in the middle of the day you're doing this island tour when you could have just gotten up, grabbed a cab, and gone and enjoyed the island and be back, what, two, three o'clock well before it's all aboard time for your ship. So that would just be my advice. Just be careful of ship excursions. So number three, and this is a time saver, and it is to make reservations in the main dining room every night. So what I would suggest you do is just get in your app or go online in your reservation and make those reservations. Let's say you do a standing reservation for 6.30 every single night. I think most people know when they wanna eat every night, roundabout time, right? And if you need to make any changes to it, cancel it, you're tired, you're not you're gonna go to the buffet, whatever, you can do that through the app. And if you forget to do it, no one's gonna penalize you, you're not gonna get a charge. Just understand, I think it's nice etiquette to cancel an hour before so someone else can use that reservation. Because on these mega ships, they have two lines. One has reservations, one doesn't. And that reservation line always moves faster than the other line. So just keep that in mind to save a little time. So number four, and this is gonna save you time and money, make sure to have a good packing list. This is so valuable. And it doesn't matter if you've been on one cruise or 30 cruises, because I can tell you we still use ours. We print it out and we make sure to check mark things off. And I double check things. And I can tell you for sure, I've looked at things at the last minute and went, oh my goodness, I can't believe we forgot that. Also, you do not want to be two o'clock in the morning going around the ship trying to find some aspirin or Pepto. What a time waster and it's expensive. Yes, it's convenient, but it's expensive. I'll never forget 
four aspirin, $9. I was like, no way, got to have a good packing list. And I have a link to mine in my description. It's 100% free, so make sure you download that. And then many of the things that are listed on there are also in my Amazon store. So also, I put a link to that in my description, so check that out. So before I get to number five, I would ask that you please like this video as it does help the channel grow. Also consider subscribing as I do daily cruise news shorts and tips and tricks. I also do long videos at 8 a.m. on Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday. Thanks so much. So number five, and please don't let this happen to you. So you had this amazing morning at the spa. You had a wonderful massage. You had a great facial. You're so relaxed. It's something you've absolutely been needing. And then the upsell starts. And you're like, really? What's going on? And I believe it's four no's before it's really no. Remember what I said, they know how to sell. So they're a little bit of high pressure there. So here's what I do. Before I go in and I'm checking in for my treatment, I tell them, please no upsells. I don't need any creams. I don't need any lotions. I don't need any cleansers. Thank you so much. And usually that works. So what do you think about my five things cruise passengers waste their time and money on? Can't wait to hear from you guys in the comments. Also, I do appreciate the support. It means so much to me. It's so fun bringing videos to you like this one. And until I talk to you next week, happy cruising.